Oh boy. Well, I guess it's that time again to talk about Battlefield. How's it going, everybody? Texas Man here. I hope you guys are all having a spectacular day. Please give this video a thumbs up if you guys really enjoy it. Subscribe if you guys have not already. Also, do me the biggest favor of all. Hit that bell notification button so you guys don't miss out on future videos or streams here on the channel. If you guys would also please also head over to Discord. You guys can find me there. The Texas Man 6957. And we'll be talking about Battlefield 2042, Season 2 and beyond. Some epic news finally came out today during a developer update that lasted all of five to six minutes. That really didn't shock me too much, but I figured I don't think a lot of people, you know, watched it. Um, I'm sure a lot of the diehard fans or the fans that um, wanted to see, hey, what's new coming to this game that I uninstalled, um, so there are some good things and there are some bad things to the reveal that came out today. So first of all, I think it's a great thing that the specialists are being funneled into a traditional class system, and that's supposed to be the coming out either late season two or at season three. It's not confirmed. They're they're finalizing it, so they don't have it ready to go for season two launch. Um, it would be amazing if they did, but um, we are getting assault. Special, uh, assault, engineer, specialist, and uh, support. So we're getting the traditional four-player squad class system. Um, I think the only thing that I'm going to have a problem with when it comes to that is that um, in Season 1, there has been weeks where it requires you to get kills and assists with a certain specialist. So, if you're not able to play as that certain specialist or as play as that certain class for several matches because everyone on your squad or team has taken that specialist, you're never going to be able to complete that challenge for the Battle Pass. So, I hope that Season 2 or 3 or moving on, whatever, the challenges that they have aren't tied to the specialist anymore because if they are, it's going to cause a problem for progressing the Battle Pass. Not that I much care about it, but for those people that actually care about the Battle Pass, it'll be a problem. Second thing I want to talk about is that they are bringing in bolt weapons, aka portal weapons, are coming to standard Battlefield 2042 all-out warfare. Um, they're bringing in the M16 and some LMG, and they're also bringing back assignments. So the way that you're going to earn these two new guns and all the portal weapons, it seems like they're going to try to get as many of the portal weapons into all warfare which I think is great it just will make the game actually have a lot more weapons and stuff to unlock um, I think it's great um, and it's gonna be unlocked via assignments so like you know 200 kills with an assault rifle to get the new one 150 to get the new LMG with an LMG um, I think that's just great and there's gonna be a lot more portal weapons coming down the line past season two which I think is really great um, in terms of maps, we are getting a brand new map. It kind of reminds me of Discarded. They haven't given it an actual name, but there is a ship in the middle, and they said that it's going to be focusing more on infantry, less on gigantic open spaces like the Battlefield 2042 launch maps had, um, and it's going to be a lot less vehicle spamming. So, think 32 versus thing 32, Call of Duty. There you go. Um, they are releasing the reworked version of Renewal, and that's coming out in September. And then October, we are getting Orbital, not only back into our normal rotation for matchmaking, but we are getting it reworked. So a lot more cover for those maps, a lot tighter engagements. They're going to not only cut the map in half from it being 128 players down to 64, but it's going to have a, a lot more cover and not be so you know, open in a gigantic walking simulator. Um, lastly, we are getting more content to Portal, they said. We are getting a new specialist with Season 2, and of course we're getting another Battle Pass. So, overall, I think Battlefield 2042, they're trying their best to keep this game alive and afloat and give the fans what they wanted with also having to please EA. Um, it seems that we are getting a lot more content in Season 2. Um, which I'm happy with. I also have a gut feeling, unfortunately, that uh, Season 3 and 4 is going to have to bring a lot. It's going to have to bring a lot in order to compete with the likes of Halo Infinite Season 3 launching with supposedly four maps 
and Forge and co-op campaign. And then the next Call of Duty, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 comes out this fall. And that's supposed to be a two-year COD. So Battlefield 2042, they can't keep doing this three-month drip feed of one map and a specialist and a couple improvements. They've really got to pump out some actual life into this game. They need to provide content to this live service game. And they're not doing it. And if they're not careful, they're going to fall into the same problem that Halo Infinite had with Season 1 and 2. So... That's my final thoughts. You guys can, of course, agree or disagree with me in the comment section down below. Are you guys excited for Season 2 and beyond for this game? Why or why not? Let me know in the comment section down below. You guys have a great day. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye, guys.